gentlemen quick video update of the k24 honda civic uh currently we are upgrading our clutch and we are doing a few upgrades on our transmission and this video is just going to be about um, going all-wheel drive um, some of the parts i've utilized on this build to be able to get this thing going if you guys follow me on instagram you guys will see a lot of my upgrades uh, a lot of updates as it's just a little bit more simple to upload on instagram if you guys don't follow me already make sure you guys do we are going to be doing a giveaway at 5,000 followers on my instagram it will be free to join all you guys will have to do is uh, comment subscribe and follow the page and that enters you to win a action clutch of your choice for D series, B series, H series, K series, J series, whatever you guys have, the winner gets to choose um, a stage three clutch for the engine that you'll be running. So one of the first things about all wheel drive is you guys are gonna wanna get the all wheel drive mount kit. If you guys are already K series, you can just buy the rear mount for the all wheel drive transmission the other three stay the same in my case i had innovative mounts before so we upgraded to the hasport all-wheel drive kit so that would be one of the pieces you'll need those are going to run you about five six hundred bucks also i'll be breaking down uh, some of the prices on some of the stuff that i got and what i paid um that way you guys have a slight idea of what it takes to go all-wheel drive and then obviously uh you'll need the engine of your choice me i went with a k24 um with a little bit of add-ons and you guys can go back into some of the videos and see exactly what we've done to the engine to do what it do uh it did make 231 horsepower and it made uh, 337 horsepower on nitrous on the motor it was 231 so real happy with the setup uh, i don't have my transmission right now to be able to show it to you guys as it is at the shop for upgrades uh the transmission i used is out of a crv uh jdm all-wheel drive five speed and that transmission is going to run you between nine and fifteen hundred bucks depending on condition and where you get it from we do have a custom 310 joint drive shaft which was made for me by my guy we have shit up uh, his name's brandon on instagram if any of you guys are going to be interested in getting this particular drive shaft you can contact him and he will give you um good price and of course um it gets done in a timely manner uh it is going to run you about 1200 bucks somewhere in there prices are going up on material so if you guys are interested in getting your drive shaft made for your all-wheel drive setup just make sure you guys contact uh we f shit up on instagram and he will definitely be able to help you guys i'll jack this bad boy up right now so we can get under there and uh, show you a little bit more of how my drive shaft was installed and then also some of the other pieces I utilized. So just real quick before we go under the car, just wanted to show you guys my uh, fuel tank. And that's my uh, just custom setup, nothing too fancy, just kind of made it work. I do have a video on how I ran the fuel system I'll show you guys more of the fuel pump right now when we get under the car. Uh, but for those that have asked, this particular fuel setup, as simple as I kept it, it ran me about close to a thousand bucks. Once it's all said and done with everything you need, the right pieces, the right filter, the right um, fuel pump, the right lines, fittings, and just to run it the way I did, it's about where you'll be at just real quick show you guys my fuel filter that's how i mounted up my fuel pump and just leads right back into the stock lines so here's the rest of my drive shaft 
and how I was able to install it using the CRV rear diff. We do still need to add our OEM drive shaft strap because when you're driving, if something were to ever malfunction, you guys want your drive shaft to stay up here and not drop down to the ground like that. It can become a quite a bad thing there, but uh, once I get it back running, I'll be adding my strap somewhere in here, just so if it were to ever drop, the strap's gonna hold it up. We are running my boys. We have shit up carrier bearing. I think he sells a set for about four or 500 bucks. Not too sure, make sure you guys contact him as well. High quality part. Now for my uh, diff mount, I did go ahead and run the Odyssey fab kit. And the reason why we ran that particular kit is because it allows you to place your diff exactly where you want it. That way you have a straight line with your transmission once you line up to the front. And I will be showing you guys that once we put the engine swap back in. And on the diff, we did add the clutch pack kit. And then we also added the upgraded um, spool, uh, dual spool valve oil pump kit which makes it activate a little bit better. Also, again, if you guys wanna go on my boy's uh, We Have Shit Ups channel, it's called Steak and Speed Garage. He showed how he installed the clutches and the uh, spool kit. As far as the axles, we went ahead and used the uh, Element axles because on the Element, they both come the same length so you need exactly uh, same length axles on both sides because of the center alignment of the diff. So it was what we utilized here, just the OEM element axle from a 2002 to 2006. And that's what she looks like there. We did use the S1 fork for the R strut, which allows you to clear your axle just like that. Real nice piece, probably one of my favorite pieces to the all wheel drive kit. We also utilize the S1 rear trailing arms. This billet fork is gonna run you about uh, 300 bucks. The spool kit for the diff and clutches is gonna run you about 600 bucks. The actual diff itself, you're looking at a few hundred to 300 bucks. And then for our axles, we used OEM axles. You're looking at about, I uh, would say give or take two, 300 bucks for an OEM pair. Um, our rear trailing arm setup was about 1600 bucks, including our PCI spherical bushing here that was also recommended by our guy we have shit up i'm not sure if you guys can see it in there but a little bit of what it looks like show you guys what it looks like from back here and i think that's pretty much it as far as all wheel drive you just need your trailing arms your fork kit, your axles, uh, your transmission, your diff, and some of the stuff I've explained. Uh, if you guys wanna go ahead and add up the price, you guys are more than welcome. I don't really like to talk prices, but I've been getting the question quite often, what did it cost me to go all wheel drive? So I might've missed a piece here and there, but if you guys have any more questions, just go ahead and comment below and I will be able to help you with some of the stuff I've done here. We did add our all-wheel drive emblem. 
think it gave it a little bit of a nice touch. Also, while we were at it, we went ahead and added a AEM dash. I think it came out quite lovely. Add just a nice little touch to it. So we get it out going. Give it a nice look. So that's pretty much it guys, as far as going all wheel drive. Uh, another all wheel drive piece, I don't know if I mentioned is the twin disc clutch. After doing a little bit of um, research, uh, did a few pulls on the car with the Iron Man, uh, collected some data on everything that was going on. And from what I've been told and from what I have felt and I've done and I've been through already, you will need a twin disc clutch when going all wheel drive. It's just something about the power transfer of the uh, twin disc versus a single disc. And we will get into that a little bit better as we go. I am brand new to this all wheel drive scene. I do plan on, uh, you know, getting more informed about it, educating myself about all wheel drive and just keep the build going. So hope you guys like the build so far. Um, I know I've been kind of slacking with content this year. It's just, I've been so busy with the actual car. You know, it just takes so much work and so much money to be able to build this car that, you know, I've, that's what I've been doing. I've been working to get the car done. So hope you guys like the build so far. Comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think.